once again for coming back to this channel, Kenny Television with the Salad Master. I very much appreciate you coming in. I thank you so much for all the support, for all your lovely comments, for always being there for us and enjoying the recipes as well. I thank you very much as many of you who've sent some of the recipes you've tried, you know, through WhatsApp and some other means, at least to show that what we're doing, people are actually taking it into practice. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. So today, So I'm just going to boil yam today and I'm going to use the defata, salad master defata and the stacha. This comes in two major parts, it's got the basket and this one as well. So for today I'm going to boil this, cook this yam with no water, okay. Um, first of all, I have a special sponge, remember anything that grows under the soil, the major vitamins and minerals lies on the skin. So you just scrub it, you don't need to peel it because when you peel your carrot, your potatoes, you are losing those vital vitamins and minerals. So just scrub it really, really well. Just like in the olden days time, they can roast the whole yam with, without. So when you finish cooking it, then you can slightly take it off. But when you're peeling it off, you are losing those vital vitamins and minerals. So just scrub it really well and um, cut it and you can cook with no water. So that's how you can see how it's all coming off nice. Just use your sponge. In my house, I have a sponge for my carrot. Okay, so that's it there. So just give it a proper scrub. You can see how clean it's all looking now. And um, and that's it. So afterwards, you can just um, slice whatever you want to dice it, chop it or cube it, whichever way you want to do. So that's it there. And I'm just going to start cutting the yam now. Um, okay, so that's um, the cookware which I'm going to use now. And um, I've actually finished washing the yam. You can see that in there. Okay, look at it. So this is gonna go in this cookware with no water. I'm just gonna put a little bit of water just to activate the pan, but ensure it doesn't touch your basket. Or otherwise, the nutrient from your yam will all be off the water because water is another enemy to nutrient. So all I'm gonna do is just add one cup of water in there, and then that's your yam properly washed put it in there just like that and off you go you can put it on any burner induction gas or electricity anywhere you can cook your yam with no water only insulin master right so i've just put the yam in there now i remember like i said look at that so the water is not touching in there and then put the lid on fully closed wait for the valve to click once the valve start cooking start clicking then you put it down on low I've started on medium heat, wait for the valve to click and then you put it down to low and there your yam finish cooking, all the nutrients staying intact. Okay, so let's wait for the valve to click, see you later. Wow, so now look at it, you can see the valve is beginning to click now and that's the valve over there. Once the valve begins to click, now turn it down to low. So remember we started cooking at medium and now I'm going to turn it down to low and there we finish the cooking. Just give it a little bit of a click a turn and then we finish it. Okay, so that's it there. I've got my curry, my thyme, my seasoning, my all-purpose seasoning and um, a bit of pepper. All I'm gonna do now is just give it a little bit of a stir and then put the lid on and that's my sauce for my yam. Just put the lid on, bang it all on until it master. It makes your life so so easy. Put the 
Play-Doh and temperature 120 in time for about 10 minutes and then um, that should be fine remember we don't need to overcook the vegetables so that you can get what you want from it um, you can also add spinach to this once it's cooked or whatever type of um, green vegetable, living vegetable you want to add. right so the time is finished now and let's have a look ready steady go look at that wow so our sauce is all ready look at that looking nice and yummy okay so now we're ready to enjoy this with our yum so come on then let's get in so just give it a stir and we are ready to enjoy so look at that has been prepared with no oil as well so that's um the sauce in there all prepared with no oil so i'm just gonna dish a little bit out and um serve with the yum look at that okay and that goes with the look at that oh healthy and nice look at that so come on enjoy with us there we go so nice thank you come on then let's enjoy right so that's it that's what your yam should look like when you finish cooking your yam that's what it should look like you don't have to peel before cooking because anything that grows under the soil the major vitamins and minerals lie slightly in the skin so that is what it should look like and then just slightly take off the skin just like i've done with this one so now come and enjoy with us with our sauce prepared with no oil thanks for watching and see you in the next video thank you so right, much so here time. is the yam and like i was um, explaining before anything that grows under the soil the major vitamins and minerals lies slightly in the skin so that's why we don't peel until it master so now it's not as if i'm gonna eat this but before you start um cooking you don't need to peel now you can see it's gently coming off by itself but you can see over there that's where your major vitamins and mineral lie so when you tend to peel you are losing those vitamins and mineral and if you check in new year normally new year they are actually a bit dark color a bit greenish on this side so when you peel them off you're losing them so when you finish cooking then you can slightly um take them off okay so i'm um, on my bad boy in my bad boy i just made a little bit of um, a little bit more vegetable to make it healthier okay so so in here what i've got here just some fish some um the kale leaf i've got onions tomatoes and um that's it basically i just bang them all in 